when it comes to gear, gear nerds, that's you. Um, we are here in December uh, to take the Rocker 15 by Orange through its paces. 
Uh, I know now it's around Nam, which is when they get released. So I pre-produced these because you know I couldn't, I, I couldn't, t- I can't tell you right now because it's you know, illegal and they're gonna chop your head off. That's how Orange is. They're gonna chop your head off. That's what they do right away. No, they don't. Um, and uh, because it's December, I know it's in retrospect because right now for you it's not December. We're still gonna turn on some Advent lights from Orion Effect. So it's the Advent pedal so we're gonna uh, it's the first the second and the third we're turn- gonna light three candles how cute is that so we're gonna put these candles back here and we're gonna create some christmas atmosphere which of course is pointless because it's not christmas and it has been uh, it's already 2017 for you <clears throat> the rocker 15 the small brother of the 32 the 32 is I can't say enough good things about it. It's an amazing amp. It is the only valve slash tube stereo amp out there, at least in its price range. And actually, it is the only one. There's a diesel VH4S, totally different kind of beast. So the 15 is really small. It's a 110 combo, 15 watt, two channels. First channel, all clean. It simply has a volume button that's a volume knob that's it second channel let's like let's look at this right here clean channel just volume so you, there's no eq no nothing second channel has drive three band eq bass middle treble level we have natural and dirty which is switching between clean and drive standby you can switch it to half or full power. It's probably one EL84 or two EL84s. We're going to run it in full power because, you know, 15 isn't really that mega powerful. And you have an on-off switch. In the back, you have a bedroom and headroom switch, which means you can run this thing at bedroom level. I'm not going to do this because miking it, it's just going to sound quieter and that's it. And that's really all it does. It sounds quieter, but it's a very, 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 very nice amp to run at bedroom level. Um... I'm marking it with the Sennheiser E609. On the table, I have a Mad Professor Bluebird. Uh, overdrive with delay built in. We're going to see how we can push the clean channel with that. I have a Silver Spring reverb from Mad Professor in the effects loop. It has a serial mono effects loop. And um, I have a Time After Time from Decibel 11 on the table, which is a very nice analog delay programmable with MIDI. And I have Orange Cup coffee uh why it's not orange i don't know i have one in orange but they also make it in white but it's not white it's orange but whatever um <clears throat> you cannot expect earth shattering sounds from this because it's a small 110 combo with an orange design speaker in it so it's not a celestial anything it's an orange speaker um, it's very lightweight, it's very small, and it packs a lot of different tones, as we will see. We're going to run it with this, ah, looking in the, in the little screen over there, Woo! with Merple. Merple is my famous custom shop master build Pantera 2 with a 3D shaping top. I picked this top myself when I was at Framus. Seema Duncan's. I have single call option. Um, this is for the bridge. This is uh, this is for the neck. This is for the bridge, which is weird. Phil X wanted it that way. Phil, you motherfucker! Um, I just put brand new NYXLs on here. Didario NYXL. Those are nice strings. Nine to forty-six. In case you care, balanced tension, which means all the strings actually have the same feel. <laughs> And there you go, Sennheiser E69 straight into the Universal Audio Apollo. Um, and it's uh, right now hanging, that's important to me, on a triad orbit stand because they're the best stands in the fucking world. Just like this one back there. So <clears throat> let's listen to the clean sounds by themselves. Right now you can see I'm not really cranked up too much. <laughs> Mm. 
Silver Spring Reverb by Mad Professor. That by itself is fun. There's a lot of round mids. There's almost no bass. It's a 110. Come on! It's a 110 combo. What are you expecting? But it's, it's, it's sparkles. I love these amps that are tough to break. So this, this amp breaks up very late, check this out. So overall, the cleans are not fendery because they're very warm and round in the midst, but they are to die for. They are a lot of fun to play. Let's go to the hamburger sounds. Now fatness will come in. Wait, major 7, sharp 11? It's a kind of clean sound where you, you, you don't need distortion. It sings, it has compression, it's just... Wonder bar. Um, how does it behave when we put an overdrive in front of it? I have the bluebird here, which is built in delay. So right now we're back to clean. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
that I can't stop playing. Those are the types of sounds that simply make you feel as if you can actually play the damn instrument. I mean, sometimes I ask myself, am I any good at this? And there are pedals where I'm playing, I'm like, what the... Why can't I... Why don't the notes jump out? And apparently, this is a combination that makes me personally happy. Might not make you happy, your ears work differently. Your musical experience works differently, but for me, this guitar, the Mad Professor pedals, and this tiny little orange thing just makes me have fun. Now let's go into the drive channel, which is, I have no idea how orange does it, but that thing with one channel can cover about everything you ever need. In a certain flavor, let's put it that way. It is very, very similar to the clean channel. Let's switch back and forth. So where the gain is right now, not a lot of gains happening. you've asked yourself what is the thing that's in front of that um, <clears throat> combo that is a deflex the blah, that is a deflex edition by the company deflex it's a german company if it wasn't there right now all i'd be hearing is more low end because uh, uh, the high end is very directional my feet and you know they'd be they'd hear it but my ears wouldn't the deflex distributes the sound evenly in the room it works if I'm playing with a combo like this, or any kind of speaker, I want the D-Flex in front of it. Let's do this. feeling that that uh, delay is sucking quite a bit of tone. Can you hear that? Hmm. Might have to have a talk with them. Let's not use it. But that reverb's just wow. Beautifully. Let's go. 
I think it's safe to say that lead sounds work. A little bit of the high end now. Folks, if you ask me, the Orange Rocker 15, I, I don't know how expensive it is. I don't know what it clocks in at. Um, I assume it's under a thousand bucks. And yeah, it must be. I don't know. It's a 110 combo, 15 watts. Makes an impression as if it's a bedroom amp. And it very well is. <laughs> damn, damn good bedroom amp. Um, Jack of all trades, master of none, is an expression that people use. In this case, I gotta say, Jack of all trades, master of a shitload of them. Um, I can't tell you that this is a great jazz amp. Because it wouldn't do it justice. It is very likely a great jazz amp. Put a nice uh, hollow body on Put a nice hollow body on it, which is very likely not in tune. It's it's not in tune, we'll play anyway.
jazz amp. With a little bit of spring, an amazing clean amp. It's a great blues machine. I think it can rock your freaking cock off. I'm sorry, but I think it can. Um, and it is a pretty damn good metal monster with its 15. Obviously, you can put an external cab on it and everything's fine. But I think the way that it is, including the one tennishness of it, I seriously think that this is a great studio amp. If you have, if you're doing home recording and you're doing demos at home or you're recording with your band and you're a beginner in all this and you're looking for an amp that can cover a lot of things but doesn't have to have its three, four channelness and all switch poo things on stage, but just something that you dial in one by one, the effect loop works beautifully. Uh, the clean sounds are hard to beat, I gotta say. Um, and the drive goes from zero to everything, and it does everything well. So I think as a recording amp, if I went to a studio with a bunch of pedals, this might be the thing I take. If I want a little bit more weight, I could put a different cab on it, but I don't know if it's really necessary because in a mix, this can convince. So, really, really, don't dismiss it because it's a 110, 15 watt combo. Check it out, and if you have the dough and you want to carry a little bit more, get the Rocker 32. Same sounds, slightly bigger, only slightly, slightly heavier, only slightly. But all them shits in stereo. Woohoo! Holy crap. Um, <coughs> the rails at the bottom is something that Orange has always been doing. And apparently it, uh, it works because it couples the amp better with the ground, which means more roundness in the bass. Better bass response. Um, I wish that the plugs weren't at the bottom, like on many, many combos. I wish they were in the back. I know when they're, uh, the way that they're at the bottom means you can have one PCB in the middle, one circuit board, and uh, it's easier to do it this way. It's not more convenient for the user. For me, I would really like to have the plugs in the back uh, because when you go on stage, you actually have to crawl on the floor and find where they are. It's not, it's not ideal. Um, other than that, an absolutely freaking highly recommended product that's all i can say orange well done thanks links below to all the products that you can get spring reverb bluebird overdrive i don't know the guitars one off but definitely the amp maybe the mic whatever i can find i'll link to the products see you people <laughs> Ah! <laughs>